that's brown. That's, I don't know how you change the color of your eyes like that. How do you do that wow. so quickly? That's amazing. That's amazing. That's yeah, a real talent. Detail. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. This guy right here, he nailed it today. I want you to know, he nailed it. You're the man. Your pitch, amazing. Amazing. Listen, we're playing a game here. Close your eyes again. Who win? Brown. All right, you. Hey, hey come on. Come on. Close your eyes. Blue. That's, you're See, just making that up. Good. She's just, he's just picking good. colors randomly. You can have this shot. You know what? Uh, excuse me. You need another <laughs> shot, please? Shame is a film that's difficult to watch because of its subject matter, but it's also a film that's very difficult to turn away from because it's so well done. It's made by a British director named Steve McQueen. It stars a big European star of the moment, Michael Fassbender, but it's set in Manhattan, and it's the story of a man, played by Fassbender, who is addicted to sexual activity. It seems that almost every waking moment, he's either engaged in sex or is thinking about sex, trying to become engaged in sex. It's a film that's rated NC-17, and justifiably so, but really, the sex that this young man, his name is Brandon, engages in is very joyless sex. It's some of the most joyless sex that has ever been put on screen. The reason you watch this film is to see an extraordinary performance, to see a man who is just torn by drives and needs that he just cannot deal with that are kind of ruining his life and that he feels incapable of resisting. The plot of the film starts when his sister, played by Carrie Mulligan, comes to visit him. That sets off even more tension in his life and you see how he tries to deal with what life has thrown him. It's an exceptional performance by Michael Fassbender, who's been in many films this year and is as hot a young actor as there is today. This is a very strong film. This is a difficult film, but this is also quite a good film. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.